Hello again, and welcome to another Piano Tech video brought to you by yours truly. I am looking at update 7.4, which is the felt update. It also added a humanize feature. This is a viewer request by Dale, so I am delivering. Another update, I improved my MIDI piano pedal system, which if you haven't seen the video, you can look up there. I put in another Yamaha FC3A, which is a half damper pedal. There's a couple reasons I did this. One, it looks better, and it was bothering me just a little bit that I had three different pedals in there and I just thought it didn't look amazing. Superficial reasons, but also it's an analog pedal, which means I can use it uh, for some of the features in Piano Tech with the pedals, as well as I was playing around with this system on some synthesizers and stuff, and the analog pedals are really great for filter sweeps and uh, other sort of expression effects. I just thought it would be a nice addition, a nice little upgrade, and it makes it look nicer and it makes it play better. And I got rid of that old Korg pedal. You can see a picture here. I managed to fit all the wiring using the two Yamaha pedals and the M gear pedal. I had just barely enough room. Thankfully, I didn't have to make any modifications to the enclosure. I just changed the code a little bit, which was easy. I set it up as a second analog pedal and removed the other button pedal. In Piano Tech, you'll see the left pedal is now analog, so it is a variable range rather than just on and off. So looking at Piano Tech, we have a couple new presets in version 7.4, which are the felt presets added to all the purchasable grand pianos. It's not added to some of the historical pianos, but uh, you can make your own. So what we have here is an improvement to the Celeste pedal, which is like a felt practice mute you might see in some uprights. And we have the option to reverse it now which means it's always on, but with a pedal we can switch it off. Uh, you can also change the felt thickness, and that's a new feature. So I'm gonna bind it up to my soft pedal here. So if I open up this window, you can see it scales, and because I have an analog pedal, I can scale the position by default. And we could bind up the felt thickness with MIDI controller too, but um, I think the position is fine. That's essentially how much the felt is contacting the strings, so it makes it a more exaggerated effect. Quite a nice sounding felt we have there. If you want to use it on all the time, you could also bind it to a knob or a fader on your MIDI controller and then just set the uh, dampening effect of it, the position slider. So I'm just going to play through a little bit on each of the new presets that I have. Um, I only have the Steinway D, the New York, and the Hamburg, and there's two on each. So let's just hear the uh, felt presets. And for now, I'm going to leave the Celeste pedal just on all the time. This is New York D Felt 2.
jumping on over to the Hamburg D. Here's Felt 1. And Hamburg felt too. That one sounds like there's a few things wrong with the piano, which is cool. There's some extra hammer noise, like there's some loose action parts rattling about. I like that. Um, and they have a nice big reverb on all these, so they're kind of cinematic and um, good for good for sad, emotional music, I think. Um, maybe that's just what I like to play. But <laughs> uh, that seems to be for peaceful and spacey atmosphere. That's quite nice. So the other thing they added with this, and I'm going to look at this New York Steinway Square that I've got set up, because I think this is kind of a cool honky-tonk sounding piano. So I've already worked on this preset a little bit. This humanized feature uh, allows you to change the randomness of the unison tuning. In reality, when a piano goes out of tune, they're not all evenly out of tune. So while that can be a nice sound to have a perfectly in tune, piano with wide unison, sort of like a chorus, it's not exactly realistic. So they added this humanized feature in Piano Tech here. It says, uh, probability density for the dynamically randomized parameter. A different value for this parameter will be generated each time a key is pressed. By adjusting the probability density curve, you can choose which values are more likely. So that is interesting. Now, the way I thought this worked, and the way I would prefer it to work, honestly, is that some keys were more out of tune than others, but they didn't change while you were playing. So it sounds like the way this works, uh, the unison width is randomly generated each time a key is pressed, which is not how it would work in the real world, which means the more extreme you throw out the tuning, the more unrealistic it's going to be. So that's interesting. That's not what I would have chosen for it, but maybe it would be hard to set it differently. I know in Piano Tech Pro you can set the uh, individual note tuning, uh, so you could throw out a few notes that way and make it more realistic to a slightly out of tune piano. If you just click on the right click on the unison width, you can see the humanize and you can set this to be either pretty tightly controlled but still somewhat random or you could set it to be really wide. And then you can set the midpoint. So if you want it to be we set back at one, but it's got a lot of randomness, then it's going to have some keys that are pretty far out and some that are not. So uh, that's a cool little feature, and I think that adds to uh, some realism if you want your piano to sound like it's not perfectly in tune. As a piano tuner, that should drive me nuts, but in this case, it's intentional, so it's okay, and I kind of like playing with it sometimes, so uh, it definitely does add some realism, especially if you want a more used, out-of-tune piano. 
Um, there is also the hammer noise, which can be humanized. That just controls how bright the hammers are. So some of them will be randomly harder or softer than others. I'm going to leave it really wide so it's more dramatic. Let's do the same with the unison width. If I drag this slider down, these are actually going to get tighter because I'm set at the midpoint is at one. I could actually leave that and have the upper half uh, get more weird. You can also humanize the strike point. I'm not going to do that because that's not something you'd really find in a piano anyways. So let's hear with this uh, honky tonk piano. And I'm also going to set my second analog pedal to the rattle pedal. I showed this in another video and I like how it sounds. It adds this rattling noise, but with an analog pedal, you can also bring that in. You can even swell it in, which I will show you in a sec. So there's a little bit, that's pretty extreme. Let's just sort of tighten this up and see how it is in a more normal scenario. set our midpoint a little higher. I'm going to set this to 150 and I'm going to do this at two, give or take, and uh, right at one. So this is pretty tight. Let's see how that sounds. Let's take a look also at the hammer noise. And this says is the weight of the hammer percussion sound. With a loud hammer noise, the instrument will seem more close. Here it is with the hammer noise very low. So that is the percussive attack of the hammer noise, and we can humanize that one as well. I kind of like it a little on the higher side here, and um, let's humanize that and see how that works. So that's just another thing you can humanize and we can also humanize the strike point which is probably going to make it sound really weird but it should be rather dramatic so let's see that.
I don't really think I would use that. It does sort of make the piano sound more surreal, but it doesn't really make it more realistic. So anyways, that's another thing you can humanize. I don't think there's anything else that you can humanize here. I hope this explains everything as best I understand it. And uh, it's some cool new features. Uh, it was a free update, so that's nice. And they just put out 7.4.1 today. Uh, but nothing too exciting in there, just bug fixes, basically. And uh, they said they revoiced the Steinway New York D, but I'm not sure exactly what they did to that. Anyways, that wraps it up for today, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next.